Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am going to do for Yvette Gomez a I'm really slow today here. Okay, a um demo on Neo Colors. Now what Neo Colors are get my little package out. I, I know I've probably shown these before, but they are not those. Okay. All right. Those are metallic watercolors. They are Neo Color 2 and they are water soluble crayons. And they're wax, they're water soluble, they're fun. And you can see this is what I have in mine. Um, I, they're not uh, they're not uh, extremely expensive, but they're not extremely cheap. Um, they're very good in their color, uh, in their opacity. Um, you definitely can get other watercolor crayons. Um, I'm mixing this in with my pastels, uh, like my water soluble pastel video, which will be up tomorrow and that kind of thing. But I want to do this today and get it up for my girl. So here's what I did. Oh, I, I've been creating and everything's so messy. <laughs> okay. This is gesso down here. This is not. This is watercolor paper. Now you can use these on any kind of paper that you want. And first I'm going to use them in, or on, I should say, non-gessoed paper. Now, before I start, gesso uh, is a wonderful, wonderful thing. And you can use gesso for a million other things than this. However, if you cannot afford gesso, I know a lot of you can't, um, you know, don't have that extra money to go out and spend on gesso. You definitely can make it yourself. You can make it with baby powder and white uh, school glue and whatever color gesso you want it to be, white, black, gray, whatever you want. Um, I have it on my uh, website, but I'm going to try to, uh, I'm going to put my link down below for it and I'll also give the recipe, but basically it's like, um, go to the dollar store, get a thing of baby powder, uh, a thing of school, white school glue and, um, whatever color you want to use. And if you want it to be, you know, you don't want to put color in it, you don't have to. And it's usually like, uh, two parts glue to one part, uh, powder, depending on how thick you want it and how granular and you want to mix it together, add your paint, mix it, and you want to store it, uh, seal it very well, uh, like in a uh, jar, like an old spaghetti sauce jar or something like that, put plastic over and then put the lid on. Very easy. I'll put the link down below. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's start. Let's do Roy G. Biv. Does anybody know what Roy G. Biv is? Because I say it all the time. All right, so I'm going to do red, yellow. <clears throat> My throat's very sore, so if, it's, if I sound funny, funnier than usual, maybe. I got a lot of stuff going on over here that I'm in the midst of, but I feel like doing this instead. All right, red, orange, yellow, green, rolling off, rolling, 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 blue, purple, I just saw my purple, purple, and then black and white. My black is broken. My black is broken, so we're just going to have a little peep peep of a black, but you understand. All right, I think I have some double colors in there. Hmm, who knew? Okay. So what it is, is you're going to, you know, you use it to draw and I'm going to do it on the, uh, or color. I'm going to do it on here first. And as you can see, that's yellow. Let me see if that helps any. Let me move y'all in. Yeah. All right. So that's the yellow. So you definitely can, you know, use this on here. Let's do all the colors. Obviously I'm not doing it in order because my red went cry flying in the crayons. All right. And I'm just going to do this. These blend well together, which you will see in a momento. Purple, purple, purple. And then how about we'll do white up here, which you're not going to see it, but we'll blend it in with that. And then I'll do black over here. Okay. And then I'm just going to show you how it, how it, uh, using water helps. So, and then I'll give you a few tips. Look how beautiful that color is. Look at that. So that's your red and you see, it just goes over. 
you definitely could uh, lighten it or darken it, you know, whichever. Here's your yellow. Let me brush again. I'm gonna do all these first and then I'll blend. There's your orange. Green I mixed with orange, but you can see it's a nice green. Blue, look how pretty that blue is. Purple. Okay, and then some black. So you see it's very creamy, very delicious. You really get nice, nice color. And that's on non-gesso paper. So you definitely can use it in your art journal or if you don't have gesso, it's not a big deal. Um, and then if you blend it, you know, you just blend the two colors together. It's a little wet. You can see that you will have different color. You'll definitely get, look at the, the blue and the green. That's technically green. Green right there for a minute, but that's technically green. But you get a nice blue green, you get the blue, and then if you do the purple and the blue, so you have like three different colors blues there. It's awesome. All right, so that's on gesso paper. I'm gonna just start green. I want you to see the color green. Yeah, it's kind of light, but you see it. It's a beautiful color. Okay, so that's non gessoed. Let's go to gessoed. But can you like see the look how pretty the colors are? All right, so this is the gessoed side. My little girl's fine. My little girl's fine. Okay, let's do it again. Red, orange. Yellow, green, now you can tell that there's just a one here because, can you hear it? It's a little rougher, but it's not a big deal. I'm going to run that up there to change that color, and then I'll do some black over here. Okay, same thing. Start with yellow because that's lighter. You get much better uh, color because it's laying on top of the gesso as versus being on a piece of paper where it soaks in a little bit. But honestly, see how good that looks. Honestly, it doesn't. It, it really doesn't matter. But that's the benefit of it. I mean, I'm not gonna. You know, it, it, you can really pick all that color up off of the paper and then use it to paint. And I'm just going through showing you the colors. I mean, look how pretty. Poor green. Every time I get to green, I got mess. I got dirty water. <laughs> but you kind of see. And then we'll do the purple. Again, mix the colors. All these colors can make beautiful colors together. That's why it's great for using in your mixed media. Okay, so you see, so you can definitely see that they're brighter colors when used on the gesso side. Okay, see how you can see a little bit better. But honestly, this is more of a watercolor look. I'm not hating on it, but this is more of a. Uh, vibrant look. You know what I'm saying? So if I took another paintbrush and I went and I pulled some of this red off of here, right? And I'm on the gesso. See how we can just paint? So if you use your piece of wax paper, your craft mat, a piece of glass, a piece of ceramic tile, where you could take these, right? Let me see if I can find my, oh, I have it right there. One second. All right. But let me just show you. So we can, we can take these and you definitely can, you know, use it and go paint from it. Right. And, um, let me grab my thing here. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I'm going to do a uh, art journal page maybe later today using these. You guys can see them in action. All right. So this is my clay. Y'all know I do my clay on there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some red. I'm uh, go like this. Scribble, 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 scribble. Right. 
you can push hard. Push it, push it real good. Alright. I'm just going to grab colors. I'm not going to pay too much attention to what colors. And then I'm going to take a little white. Because if I want to blend or do whatever, I want some white. Uh, oh, there's gray. Is that metallic gray? Where did I get that from? Silver. Let's see what that bad boy does. I must have bought it and didn't never used it. Also, there's flesh colors, which I'm going to do. I'm going to do a uh, art journal page and add so we could do flesh colors too. So, you know, like skin tone on something so you guys can see. I'm going to limit my palette when I do it so you guys can see, like, if you want to try these that you, you know, if you want to do faces or whatever, you only have to get a certain amount of colors. I could go nuts because there's so many different greens and blues. I mean, that's how they get you. Let's face it. You know, they show all these beautiful colors like this pink here that I probably had to have. Right. Even though I can make it with red and white, but you see what I'm saying. All right. Enough of me scribbling on there like I'm a fancy painter. Okay. So. Let's go in our light one first. I'm just going to activate it with a little bit of water. Okay. And I'm going to rinse. And all I'm going to do is activate. Now, you can spray these with water if you want. But I'm going to rinse my brush off anyway due to the fact of I don't want to mix the colors. Our silver. Silver, silver, silver. All right. And you can definitely... Uh, not use as much water as I am. I'm just kind of in a hurry. Not in a hurry. I shouldn't say in a hurry. I don't want to make this a six hour video. Yeah, dig. Yeah, boy. All right. Okay. So you see, these are all liquefied now. I'm going to shut this. So it's out of my way because if I empty this on the floor, like I've been doing stuff all day today, I'm not going to be happy couple. All right. So I'm going to turn this. Wait, don't I have a piece of, wait, I might have a piece of paper here. Yeah. Let's use this bad boy, shall we? All right. And I'm going to lay that there and then I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to use a small one and I'm going to go in with, let's go in with the light color and then you go in and you paint. Okay. Let's go, let's do a little red, get a little bit red on our brush. A little of that. So you see it paints beautifully. I mean, you're really getting more uses out of these crayons than um, not. You know what I mean? I don't like buying stuff that I, uh, you know, that only kind of gives you one, one uh, use. Because I don't have money. And if I don't have money, I'm going to paint these in with that pink too. You know, I want to, if I pay for something, I want to get it and use it for more than one thing because that's how I roll. But you don't have to roll like that. You roll whatever way you want. Some blue. A little bit more blue. Almost looks purple, but it's like a periwinkle. And then if you want to add some white in the eye, you know, to mix up a little bit of the white. You can let this dry and move on. Uh, here's some silver. Let's go. Some silver hair. Obviously, just playing. Put some white in there. A little, little funky hair. And then we can do a little pink in our cheeks if you want. Her little neck. That's it. I mean, you can see that it's definitely like painting, you know, watercolor out of it. It works fantastic. It's the same thing. So you definitely get, you know, and these are great to put in a little container, like a little uh, school container, like I have pencil case, um, and throw into your thing when you go to the doctors or if you're going on vacation or whatever, and you have them with you so you can sit and draw or you can sit and uh, paint like this. You know, it's not, not that big of a deal. Um, and you get like a lot of uses out of them. So I can just sit here and play and play and play. Let's mix some of these colors. Let's see. So if I do that and add some white to this side. 
I'm put my red there. See how you can go from red to that color with just a little bit of white? It is, it's, it's a lot of fun to do. A lot of fun to do. But that's it. That's just the Neo Color. I'm going to do an art journal page, but I wanted to do a quick Neo Color crayon. Do I think they're worth it? Yeah, I love them. Are there ones that you can buy that are uh, less expensive? I mean, gelatos, dig this. You can use gelatos the same way. So, um, you know, if you have gelatos, definitely you can still do the same thing on here. Get an old frame with glass in it or, you know, canvas. I mean, a uh, ceramic tile um, and, and do the same thing. You can do this with the uh, Crayola, t what are they called? Sticks, slick sticks. You can do it with your water soluble ink pads you could do the same thing it's just putting it on a surface where you're getting some color you know and then you just play and you play and you play but it's a lot of fun they are a lot of fun um i have no you know i the, all these things that i'm showing you i have no stake in them I, I they're mine i bought them um and i just want you guys to see them i think they're wonderful these are things that i use and uh you know i think it's a fun thing so if you guys like them and you use them, let me know down below. Uh, if you have any problems with them, let me know down below because that helps a lot of people who want to buy them or, or, and are on the fence about buying them uh, to give your opinion on them. I always, you know, things that are hard for my hands or hard for me to use, I always like to tell people because you never know. But um, so I love all your opinions and I would like to hear them. And that is about it. So I'll use this in our journal page coming up. Um, one last thing I want to tell you guys is you can, these are water soluble, which means that they're going to be reacting. If I put more, if I go on here with my brush and I'll do these over here and I go and I get water on them, I can reactivate these, right? So they can really spread. And if you don't want to do that, it's the same thing that I tell you guys with the pastels and everything else. You can mix up some of your uh decoupage or mod podge or white school glue mix it with water so it's a thinner consistency and just brush it down once you can spray some people use hair aerosol hairspray to fix it um i use the pastel fixative which i've shown a gazillion times i use this um but i know it's expensive and a lot of you can't afford it um you know or want to i shouldn't say it like that but you know you don't want to spend the money on it but you don't have to because there's other ways to do it and when i do my art journal page i'm going to show you guys cheap things that you cheaper things that you can use at home to kind of seal this because these are fun to use in your mixed media as well as the pan pastels as well as, as different sprays and all that kind of thing so you know don't I, I don't like people to get upset and think like i'm showing things to that they can't afford because i know it's hard it doesn't i didn't acquire all those uh, crayons in a day, uh, you know, they were set. I, I would probably every month say, okay, I'm going to spend $10 on them. And that included shipping. So I had to, you know, so I'd get like six crayons, you know what I'm saying? And that's just how I did it. The stores around here don't sell them. So I don't know, you know, but I mean that they're fun. They're a lot of fun. So I want to show you different ways we can use our stamps with them and everything. And I'll do that in the art journal, but this was just a little you know, fun little thing to do so you guys could, you know, kind of see how they work. Um, and that you don't need, you don't need gesso. You can definitely see this. This is not gessoed. This is gessoed. And you can see how the color goes like a watercolor. And I think it's beautiful. So, so there. But all right, guys, that's just a little bit. Stay tuned for a art journal page using these. And that is about it. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I hope y'all have a great day and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.